I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. Hey, I'm looking for the lieutenant. Got orders from Matt. Matt? Hey, you're not PK. Does it matter? He gave them to me, and here I am delivering them. Hey, steady. Let's call someone and clear this up, okay? Hey, you there? Don't move a muscle. For all I know, you're a renegade with bogus orders. Wait, I recognize his voice. Bart? Loan. Loan, is that you? He's with me, Bart. Let him in, or I'll kick your ass six ways from Sunday. Loan, what's going on here? Look, Matt sent Aiden there because all his men are tied up. Matt's orders, Bart. Let him through. The lieutenant's there. Apologies. You're just doing your job. Lieutenant Rowe, I have orders from the commander. I ain't Rowe. He went off with a squad to New Dawn Park. I'm Lieutenant Grady. Great. Guess I gotta keep going. What are you talking about? Show me those orders, son. I was supposed to give them directly to Roe. And I'm Roe when Roe's not here. It's called chain of command. Give him. What the hell? Did the commander say why we're being pulled back to center? He didn't seem too eager to explain anything to me. I'm just the messenger. Okay, boys, time to pack it in. Command's ordered us to withdraw. It's back to base for us. We're doing what? We're leaving this outpost? Don't question me. You can't hide behind Meyer's skirt out here. You're... you're abandoning us? What do we do? We'll be defenseless. Go arm the survivors. Then we roll. Hey, if I were you, I'd give them plenty of weapons. The Renegades sent a whole detachment to the Fisheye. Any other bright ideas, civilian? And just a question. Where can I find Roe? New Dawn Park, like I said. I'm not sure if they made it yet. You take these to him and tell him I'm on it. Better you than me, buddy. Roe's gonna blow his top when he reads these. And I'm here to save lives, not lose mine. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Assholes. We won't stand a chance. I'm really sorry, civilian, but we have orders. You can't leave us. If the renegades come, we'll be dead within a day. <sighs> Fucking idiots. Come on, I'm going to New Dawn Park. Apparently, Roe went there. I still don't understand why the renegades attacked the fish eye. They've got their camp, but Butcher hasn't attacked the fish eye since. Never. Even he respected the Night Runner, so. No fucking clue what's going on in his head. The Butcher. Tell me more about him. The Colonel. He is the leader of the Renegades. He gave the order to douse the city in chemicals. That's when my parents died. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Saw my dad once in my whole life. And if Mom was good at anything, it was drinking. She abandoned me. And that's how you ended up in Walter's program? <sighs> more or less. The perilous life we lead. What happened? I'm a pauper brought low by my own family. Who? Yes, my own flesh and blood have brought me to this dreadful state. My own kith and kin. How can they be so unreasoning? So beguiled by phantasms? Woe betide them. Woe. Are you going to tell me what's going on? My papa, my dear papa, departed this Vale of Tears a month ago, and his siblings, my loathsome aunts and uncles, oh, I spit at them, went mad with grief. They travelled dark paths and found an infected with the power to raise the dead. Ever since, they've been offering valuables to the creature, beseeching it to bring back my dear departed papa. They really believe that? Yes! They think their offerings will make the foul beast grandpapa a new life. 
Seems people need something to believe in, whatever it may be. And what does this have to do with your poverty? It is all Papa's valuables they've taken to use as their offerings. When I tried to stop them, they threw me out of the house. I'll have nothing left. Only memories of Papa and a gaping hole in my heart. I'd go to that altar myself, retrieve his belongings, but I'm a frail man. But you, you seem like a stout fellow. Perhaps you'd go there and retrieve his treasures for me. Well, if it means so much to you, I can try. Oh, lion-hearted. I will reward you a hundredfold. They make offerings in the evenings, so you have to go there under the cover of night. You'll find his belongings in willow-lined chests. You can wait here for the sun to descend from the sky. I'll be waiting for you in my crib on Lower Dam Air, on the garrison. The entrance is near the old hotel, by the canal. Farewell. E farewell. And your parents? Remember them? No. I just remember the hospital. Pain. And the fire. Right before they split me and Mia up. Is that why you're looking for her? Is she the only family you got left? Let's focus on the job, okay? Okay, tough guy. Last one there is a rotten egg. Yeah! <laughs> 
You almost got my brother killed. I didn't mean for him to get hurt. But he did, because of you. Stop conning others to run your dangerous errands. If I so much as get a whiff, you pull this on anyone else, I'm turning you in. Hey. Who are you? Another one of this fool's errand boys? Whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm getting out of here. What's going on here? What was he talking about? Uh, you see, before the fool, uh, I was an actor. Not even a good one. Oh, bereft of a stage, I, I took my craft to the streets and became a con artist. But not a very good one of those either, as I'm still quite poor. Everything you said about your father, your family? Yeah, it was a lie. I had to convince you to retrieve those valuables for me. The legend of the creature is real. Well, as real as the bandits who invented it to trick people into offering up their valuables. They come by later and collect them. I didn't dare go there myself and risk them catching me. So I figured I'd have someone else go. I'm a greedy, lazy bastard. What do you want from me? Well, at least you're honest about one thing. I try. Sometimes. Like now. You survived the ordeal. Keep the spoils for your trouble. As for me, the curtain's going down. Ugh. Ugh. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end. The heartache. And? Well? Um, well, if you had a day job, I say not to quit it. Oh. <sighs> 
paint you but, but but no no I have to avoid distractions not if I want to finish my greatest work the greatest work what's that a grand fresco my, my, my magnum opus a painting of epic proportions the, the world is not prepared to see but I can't finish it I don't have the proper shade of red. Red? Yes. The reddest red. I need it badly, and all these idiot merchants have is some kind of pale joke. Without the reddest red, my project will remain incomplete, and my art will not find the expression it requires. Of course, I could get my hands on, but, but no, that's just such a crazy idea. It sends shivers down my spine. Let's hear it. Oh, my, uh, are, are you sure? That... Okay, then. Uh, I, I have to admit, I already experimented in secret, and what I need is blood of the infected. Uh, but not just any infected. I find the blood of a goon is the only one that is apt to give me the true deep red I need. I've been observing this particular goon in a certain area, and uh, have taken to leaving out red wine for it to drink. Wine should make its blood an even more intense shade. It becomes rather aggressive after drinking the wine. Do you think you're up to the task of bringing me the creature's blood? Sure. Sounds like fun. Go, then. Uh, uh, come back when you've acquired its blood.
Leave me alone. Please. Hey, I'm looking for Lieutenant Rowe. You seen him? Who are you? Why do you want to know? I have orders from Major Matt. Lieutenant Grady said he was here. It'll be okay. Where's your squad and commander? We were making camp when Renegades attacked us. Roe and the others, they got a few. Then they went after the ones that tried to run. What about you? Couldn't keep up. I lost contact with them. Then another group attacked me. What are they doing here? The Renegades weren't attacking our positions in the center. Oh, fuck. Careful. Hide. Go to hell. Sure. Already leaving. <laughs> Aren't we, gentlemen? Oh, let's get him! Hey, we're safe now. You can come out. So, um, where's Ro? Uh, camp was supposed to be up there on the hotel roof, by the junction with Newell's Drive. There's a winch in the back of the building. You can take that up. If they haven't been able to come back yet, that's where you'll find them. Thanks. If you can make it back to base on your own, go there. And don't let yourself get chased into a box again. Luan, I've located Roe. Hotel by the New Walls Drive and Berrien intersection. Congrats. One big thing before the meeting with Roe. He's got a fucking hair trigger temper. Yeah, Grady already warned me. As long as he has info on the GRE database, he can be as pissy as he wants. Brave man. We'll talk after you meet him. See you there. Yeah. Yeah. That smile right off his face.
Status of the squad downstairs. Yes, sir, Lieutenant, sir. Are the renegades outside? They won't bother you. You took them out? Who are you? Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa's elves have brought us. Withdrawal? Now? This is some kind of fucking joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. other... Five of our very best. Bartez killed more virals than an entire unit. Sierra and Little Ron? They've been fighting on my side since before the fall. They gave their lives for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? Listen. Yeah, I'm just a messenger. Just calm down and talk. Oh, you don't think I'm calm, huh? I'm a fucking oasis of Zen. Nirvana fucking walking. Bartez's husband. How's he gonna keep calm, huh? When I leave her body on this godforsaken turf. Sierra and Brosco's mom? She's not gonna be calm to learn her boys died here in vain. What should I tell him? All this for nothing just cause Matt signed a piece of paper and sent it to me? We do the real work out here, and it's nothing to Matt to take it all away with a smear of ink. Fucking total bullshit. I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the fuck would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important, if idiotic, business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Okay, gentlemen. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. It fucking sucks. 
But an order's an order. Bro, wait. Luan, do you come to piss me off too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are looking for that GRE database, and you're gonna tell us. You wanna drag this out, or take care of it here and now? <laughs> Fuck. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the fucking Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. If you want, check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list, and you? You can enjoy life in the center. Maybe Rose wrong. Maybe something survived intact after all. The butcher dropped chemicals. The place was reduced to toxic rubble. You given up? Are you deaf or dumb? Those chemical bombs destroyed everyone and everything they touched. Ugh. This was a fucking waste of time. Frank was right. I am fucking naive. What's the deal with those renegades? Why did they attack the canteen? How would I know? Williams is a fucking lunatic, a butcher, and a murderer. He killed half the city with a chemical weapon strike. Now he's ordering his men to attack civilians in the center. Right after Waltz turned on the power. Walt and that psychopath are buddies. I wouldn't be surprised if they planned that together as well. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list? They'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden, I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah, thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, little one. Sayonara. Hello? Hello? We're under attack. Renegades. Surrounded us on the island. We don't stand a chance. I'm begging you, help.
Look what I brought you. Oh, uh, my God. Is it from my goon? Uh, let me see. Pilgrim, you can stand tall today, for you have done your part, however small, in making art history. Now leave. I, I have to focus to create the one red the world longs to see and paint a fresco that will change it forever. Uh, if you come back later, maybe you will see it. Oh, uh, you may have a use for this. My older brother John gave it to me for protection, but I'd, I'd probably kill myself trying to use it.
You can come out. They can't bother you now. What happened here? When we were just working, then they attacked. Went for our supplies and cut down anyone in their way. Yeah, but not everyone. The others, where are they? I didn't see anyone else. They must have been taken. Oh, God. Maria. Robert. They took my friends. Have they been attacking other camps? Survivors from the camp to the south said that they were attacked today, too. They took food and the able-bodied young men forced them to join them, apparently. We all knew the renegades are nasty sons of bitches, but they kept their distance from us until now. You know where they would have taken your friends? The border between the butcher's turf and ours is close to here. That's where the renegades have their camp. Will you help them? Please? There are no peacekeepers here. No one to help them. I'll try. Thank you. Be careful. They might have outposts along the route. I'll guide you over the radio. My name's Casper.
This knows.
survivor was right. Something is really fucking wrong here. I'm at the first outpost. There's no sign of your friends. Oh, they must have moved on toward the camp. Uh, further west on Fulton Tower Road. Catch them before they get there. I'm on my way. No. Uh, I don't understand. They said the renegade is dangerous, but the ceasefire lasted for years. It's as if they no longer fear the peacekeepers. <sighs> What changed that? Maybe we're about to find out. I'll be in touch. No one here either. They might have stopped at the overlook by the windmill on Garrison Boulevard. Hurry up. If they reach camp, it'll be much harder to rescue them. I'll catch up to them. Think I saw who was commanding those renegades. It was Elias. He was a survivor. Uh, lived in the area two years ago. He was a lawyer before the epidemic, a man of principle. Then he disappeared. There was a lot of talk about it. It disappeared. A year ago, this guy keeps sniffing around.
The ones who did never came back. When I saw Elias just before, he looked strung out. Like he was on drugs. His eyes terrifying. As if there was no one left behind him. I'll look into it. found were some renegades here. So they made it to the camp. There's no saving my friends now. I'll scout out the camp and see what I find. I didn't dare ask, but we can't give up. Help them, please.
Let these people go. Oh, don't think so, PK Puppet Boy. You're gonna strangle on your strings. Curtain's coming down on all of you. But we ain't got no strings. He cut us free. What the fuck are you talking about? The Master. 
freed our bodies and minds. We now see that each time we strike down an enemy, we absorb their strength. Now you can join us, or you can meet your maker this very day. Why have you broken the truce? Power, my friend. In our unstrung state, we possess boundless strength. Infinite power. Waltz, our master, has gifted us this power. Jack, Matt, and the puppet keepers tangled and strangled against us. Powerless. They're just a bunch of pathetic juicers. Thanks for the offer. But you're fucking nuts. You understand nothing. Get them! Am I the only one seeing that over here? I kill the fucker who he's messing with! <laughs> <laughs> Get this. This way. There's a side gate. Uh, hello? It's Aiden. Your friends are safe and sound. <sighs> Thank you, Aiden. We are all deeply in your debt. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
something wrong? No, nothing. Talking to myself, that's all. I, mean, I can see something's the matter, but okay. It's just, there's nothing that can be done. There are too many of them. Too many who? Renegades. Degenerates. Six months ago, they kidnapped my son, Rook, and they forced me to produce drugs for them. I was the chemistry teacher in school before the epidemic. I held one of them back, grade. But what about your son? They're holding him hostage. If I'm late with the next batch of drugs, they'll kill him. Maybe what these bandits need is a lesson. But there's a whole band of them. I've faced far worse odds than that. I'm not a fan of kidnapping. Will you help me? Yeah, I'll try. Where are they keeping Rook? In a military building, overlooking the canal south of Muddy Grounds, near Culvert Island. The entrance is on St. Paul Boulevard, past the wrecked car carrier. Just be careful. I went there myself once, trying to free my boy. They caught me. Then later brought me one of Rook's fingers. As long as these bastards are alive, they'll never leave us alone. I'll be careful. I'll follow you. Wait outside for you to come out. What's your name? Aiden. Thank you, Aiden. I haven't slept a wink for six months. What are they doing? Yeah. <sighs> 
You all right? I'm, you know, yeah. They injected that shit into you. Who, who are, who are you? Aiden, your father sent me. Father? Ah, uh, uh, Dad. You're out of danger. I'll take you to him. No. What? I don't need you, Dad. Or anybody else. I'm doing fine here. Give me a needle. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You've got all your fingers. The bandits didn't cut one off. So it was all fake? Leave me alone. There was no kidnapping, was there? You've been tricking your own father into making you free drugs? Get out of here! How could you do that to your father? Didn't want this, okay? It's stronger than me. And now what do you want? You'd rather stay here like this than be with your father? Rook! Son! My boy! Finally, I've got you back. What is it, boy? Are you alright? This kid's been through a lot. They shot him up with drugs. God, I, I didn't know. Come home. I'll take care of you. Everything will be fine. Thanks, Aiden. Yeah, whatever. Uh, good luck. 